The renovation's going so well, it's almost done. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. This is the new space for my Nintendo room. This is actually the third video I'm doing, if you want to check out the other two videos, of expanding the Nintendo room. This is adding roughly 200 square feet to the Nintendo room. The room that I'm staying in right now is roughly 17 by 11, but then also underneath the stairs if you want to count that, and a little bit at the bottom of the stairs as well. So what's new from last time? The floor is fully installed. The reducer that separates the flooring from one another, the carpet to the vinyl, looks really good. I really like the color of the floor. I think it matches everything really nicely. I also have the rest of the room completely painted. I want to thank my wife and her mom as well, helped with the painting. Thank you so much, I painted myself as well. I built a cover right here for the electrical panel, so I used a piano hinge. I also used magnets so it would stay closed. It's a 40 by 30 one piece of wood. I actually searched locally on classified ads and I found a table. And the table was right around the corner from me, which is remarkable, with a wooden frame top, with a wooden frame I guess, and the top exactly 40 by 30 inches is what I needed. So I removed the tabletop from the table, I primed it three times, I painted it the same color of the wall. I do have to touch it up a little bit with the paint that you can see in some places, but I built that to cover it up and I think it looks really good overall. I also did the trim, so you can see the trim in this space. One of the questions I was asking you guys, and thank you so much for all the comments and suggestions, was do I keep the trim in this space white? Do I paint it gold? What do we do? So right here you can see that I color, I not color match, but I matched the trim as close as I could to get almost the exact same trim, the same size and everything. So when I installed the trim, I kept it gold basically down the stairs so that all of this can look mirrored. I cut some pieces out so it looks a lot better right here basically uh, with coming down the stairs and the gold. But then around the corner it's all white trim in the new space. I do need to get more of that gold paint. You can even see on the handrail here coming down the stairs it's all peeling and everything like that. I want to repaint it. So I'm going to take a piece of trim that I have left over in, get it scanned, the color, get the color match and get a paint can of it. I just don't think I'm going to do all the trim in this space and paint it gold. It's the last thing that I'm supposed to do in here is paint all the trim. I think I'm just going to keep it white. The space in here feels more updated. Some of you were saying like white's more modern anyways. I think you won't even notice the trim because there's going to be so much Nintendo stuff in this space anyways, let's be honest, that you probably won't really notice the trim that much regardless. So that's also what's new. Another thing that is new is I installed covers for the events. Not that exciting, but of course that has to be done so that, you know, it's safe, you got good airflow and everything like that, so I installed those as well. And then underneath the stairs, I decided to maybe finish this up a little bit more. We had drywall there, and we did prime this wall. I put some, but not all, trim right there. I do have to finish the space out. So I am thinking still I'm going to post or put up maybe some of the white, really thin material there, but not drywall. And that way maybe cover it with Mario decals or something like that. I could use this space for storage. Right now it has the Mario Kart, which actually fits remarkably well underneath there. I'm kind of picturing this with like decals on the walls. Maybe on this wall I put even more Mario decals to make it look really cool. I'm talking like these Mario decals right there. Or I could install shelving on this wall because the person across the street basically from me was getting rid of these picture ledge shelves. So this is roughly four feet and it fits so perfectly well, like right there the depth is exactly ideal. The length is really good for what I need in this space as well. So I could mount these here. I have four of them. I would probably need to find a few more. They're not that expensive. I hope Ikea still sells something like that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Under the stairs I have so many options. Option one, keep the Mario Kart under there, make it all Mario themed. Option two, the fridge. I moved the fridge over here for now anyways, but it is blocking my cold cellar. It is on a trolley so you can wheel it out. It's just a little bit annoying of course, but that's actually a really good spot for the fridge. It separates the two spaces quite nicely. As soon as you come down the stairs, it's right there. It's in a neutral location for everything. But that other option though of course is to put the fridge back underneath the stairs here. If the fridge goes back underneath the stairs, then I can put an arcade like on the other side. So like one side would be the fridge facing this way, and the other side would be the arcade facing the other way. So that's like another option, option two I guess. It's kind of nice to have this walkway like a lot of you were suggesting. That way you can walk and you don't have to go all the way around. 
But let's be honest, like going all the way around is an extra five feet of walking. It's not that bad. It's probably better that I use the space to actually store stuff. I think going around is not really a huge issue. So that, the other option that I could do instead is keep this as a walkthrough, but put an arcade here. So there's the arcade one-ups. If I don't use the riser, it would actually fit underneath the stair right here. So it would come out perfectly in line basically with the two doorways. And that way I could put like two like stools in here and underneath here maybe put some LED lighting, finish this off so you can't see the ugly wood staircase or the beam or anything like that. And then like make it look like a little mini arcade room. So that would be a really cool idea as well. So I guess either Mario Kart under space with Mario related items and things like that, or have the fridge under here and the arcade facing two different ways, or just the arcade. So I've got to go through those options. Comment below, let me know what one you think would be best. The other thing that I'm thinking of, because most of the space over here is probably going to stay the same, here I have another closet that is the same depth, of course, as under the stairs. So it's like 42 inches in depth. I just have a billy bookcase blocking the space. I'm thinking of installing a light in there and then maybe putting shelving all around it. And that could be like its own little arcade closet room with two stools. And that would be really neat as well. It just kind of be tucked out of the way, but it would be an arcade little space because having a shelf blocking the whole closet doesn't make that much sense. I really wish this beam wasn't here and that I could have my games like all the way to the wall and this was one connected closet, but to demo that, it might be load bearing a bit. It's not worth undoing everything and dealing with the carpet and everything like that. So that is another option, maybe putting the arcade in there or lining that whole room with shelving and making it into like a world of Nintendo kind of mini nook, putting down like a bean bag and you could like read in there or something, play some handheld games in there or something like that. So lots of options for all of that is where my brain is going. All right, so other stuff that I'm going to talk about, I guess, is the setup of this space. First of all, I really like this unit that I have over here. I mentioned it previously. I'm going to have two CRT TVs right there. The height is really good when you're sitting down in these red chairs. I do think I'm going to keep the two red chairs here. The height is perfect if I have the TVs basically right there. So what I mean by that is when you sit down, you're looking down a little bit at the TV, so that's a pretty good height. This screen is just extra at fit perfect, but I'm not sure what to do with that screen. And I actually need one more of these shelves. This unit is from, I think it's Besta. I think it's a 47 by 47 by 16 roughly in inches. But I need one more of these shelves because it only came with five when I bought this. Second hand again, it was really inexpensive. It already has some holes for some of the cords to go behind because there's a plug on this wall right here. There's a TV up top that can be angled as well because like I said, the 16 inch depth. So I do like having these chairs here. I also put my other NES coffee table that I made originally right here. It's a little bit dusty. I do have to clean it, of course, but I, I don't mind it here whatsoever. So I do think these are going to stay right here. This unit and the two chairs, probably not that table in between, probably something else or maybe nothing. So the idea with this is that I'm going to be able to play and hook up probably two Game Cubes with Game Boy players with controllers so it's comfortable to play handheld games with the Game Boy players. So this is kind of like a handheld gaming space. Then on a table that I will have over here, either this table or the other table in the other room, I want to put all the handheld systems kind of going around in a circle so that this kind of feels like a handheld nook space, kind of a dedicated space to handheld gaming. So the Pokeball table actually looks really, really good here, and it would make so much sense if this is the handheld space, because I would like to move the Poke Wall over into that space. Instead of only having two of these shelves, I have a third, so I would put three of the shelves over in this space, somewhere along that wall, either all the way in the corner, underneath the beam, or have like a tall billy like that, a tall billy on the side, and three short ones in the middle, so the wall would basically look identical to the Zelda wall with two tall ones and three short ones going down the middle. So the Pokeball, I think I definitely need more space. There's so many plush and so many games. I'm kind of running out of room on this Pokeball, whereas the Mario wall is huge and there's space on the sides to add. Same with the Zelda wall. I'm probably going to take some of the space off those two bookcases as well to add to the Zelda wall. So I think Pokemon needs a bit more love, a bit more space. So if I put the Pokemon stuff in here, it really contributes and adds to this handheld kind of aesthetic in here. And that means the Pokeball table kind of like really belongs in here. But I don't know if it fits compared to the poker table. So I'm calling this a poker table, 
But really, this is going to be a great Deku tree table. From Ocarina of Time, I want to kind of mount some stuff underneath the table to make it look like the Ocarina of Time great Deku tree, and that would make this Zelda-themed table. The tabletop is for poker or board games, but it can be flipped over and it's just a regular table. And then actually, if you take off the tabletop, I'll just show you, it has like kind of a billiards kind of game in there as well with some holes that you can shoot balls around everything for billiards I guess but I might just fill those and then try and use this for board games and stuff like that so right now the poker table is here but if I get eight of these chairs eight of the actual like desk chairs for my friends to be really comfortable on it's a real walk around these really small chairs are really small but if it's a larger one I just don't know if there's enough room to walk around all of this I like the concept of having the table, that's the Zelda table in front of the Zelda wall. I don't think it's required though whatsoever, so I'm not sure if this stays here. I would probably prefer to move this back over to this side, because I tried it out and moved it back over there. Move the Pokeball table back to where it was. It used to be in this alcove or right here, which makes a lot of sense. I film a lot of videos on it, facing this direction with the GameCube and N64 stuff for now, even though that might move. So I think the poker table belongs over here. That way if I do have some buddies over and we're playing poker or anything like that, we have a smart TV right there I can angle, we can watch stuff on it, we can also get to the fridge really easily of course, and we can really enjoy ourselves and I think it fits a bit better in this space. There's a little bit more room over here for the poker table, especially if I move the red chairs over a little bit. Next, what I'm thinking with this space. The main idea is what I'm trying to get at is where does everything go? I really love planning this stuff, so if you have any suggestions or recommendations, by the way, feel free to comment below or ask a question. The consoles that I have right now were in order. So you might notice, where's the NES and the Super Nintendo? Because they used to be here, but now there's no shelves right here in this space. So what I'm thinking, there's the NES shelf right there, but there's no Super Nintendo shelf. It's kind of, everything's in the other room mostly. So what I'm thinking is, I think I could have two shelves here for NES and then Super Nintendo. So two Billy bookcases, NES, Super Nintendo. This one could be for Virtual Boy. Then I have four for the Nintendo 64, so going in order. So these exact four display right here would basically just be moved over there. So you come down the stairs and it's like, whoa, like N64 wall. And then GameCube, I only have two shelves for it right now. I definitely need more. Move those probably into three of these spaces, so I gain one more whole shelf for GameCube. Then that'll be Wii, Wii U, and then probably Switch. I'm going to run out of room for the Switch, so that's kind of a problem. I'll have to cross the bridge when that happens. I could always put Switch, like normal Switch here, and then like Switch lights, and the new Switch Pro HD 4K, whatever, eventually what they come out with, maybe could be here as well. So like, it's a little bit awkward because they're not beside each other. This would then be changed because the Wii U would be moved. Same with the Switch, it would be moved. So those two would be empty. I might just add to them Zelda stuff, more Zelda stuff. Because these three shelves on the bottom right there, I do want to move the handhelds into the other room, which I'll explain in a bit, and probably put the Nintendo Power magazines in between these shelves over there. I think it just fits if I move that shelf over a little bit closer to the bathroom. I can fit the Nintendo Power magazines underneath there, which would be cool. So this would be Nintendo Power magazines and guides and Zelda stuff for that entire wall. Everything else in this room would mostly stay the same. I don't think I'm moving the games around too much or anything else like that. But behind the couch, my dream, the goal was eventually, was to have a bar table behind the couch that like overlooks all the action. So when we have a lot of people over for a Mario-thon or Zelda-thon or a gaming marathon, we have at least five more people maybe on high bar stools overlooking the action or playing handheld games like with Wii remotes. They don't need to be wired into their controllers. I would also love to move this shelf over to the wall, just an extra like 18 inches, and probably mount like a 60 inch screen right here. Move one of these posters over and have like a TV up there, a larger TV. And that way you have like five screens set up always, so we're always ready to go for Mario-thons and Zelda-thons and stuff like that. I already have the four screens, but I think having one more larger screen would make a lot of sense. A lot of people say like your TV setup kind of sucks. I don't think it sucks. I think it's cool to have four TVs, but the HD TVs could definitely be upgraded and have one maybe larger one there eventually down the line. So if that happens, bar table maybe behind the couch, 
This table, the activity uh, poker table, goes over there. The Pokeball table comes back over here. And I, I think I'm getting a handle on what I want to do with this entire space. There's a lot of work to go with all of this. And there's some things that are going to work out perfectly. I'm not really sure what it'll look like in the end, but it's fun to walk you guys through everything. Another thing that worked out really well that I could maybe do is I also found these shelves across the road on the ground as well. And these are perfectly 30 inches, so they fit exactly perfectly the width of the door that I made on this unit. So I could kind of mirror the shelves over here on the billy and like install them and make it look like it's just a whole nother natural shelf right here. So it looks like it's a floor to ceiling one. And that way I could change this stuff around a little bit. Eventually, if I get like the color TV game systems that proceed came before the NES, it could be like color TV game, NES, Super Nintendo, floor to ceiling, and then continue with the N64 and everything like that. So I think three shelves for Pokewall over here. I also would love to make three Billy bookcases right here. So one, two, and a third right here if I could. And that one will have to be cut down to height because these beams up here are roughly 77 and a half inches. And you can see this Billy bookcase I already cut down and it barely fit right underneath here. So I've got four more full height ones that don't fit underneath any of the beams. I'm just gonna cut all four of them down so that everything in the Nintendo space is cut down to the height that'll fit underneath the beams. All the other Billy bookcases were already cut down by the way. So I think I'm gonna do that. So there's three Billy bookcases here for all of my handheld systems. That's probably the idea. Like Game & Watches, Game Boy, all the way up to the 3DS would be on three shelves right here looking really good, I think overall. One last thing to mention is I did try to install the secret door here. It looks pretty good overall. Right now I have it installed with three hinges right where the door would have been. But the problem that I'm running into is if I want to put a Billy bookcase here, obviously this needs to pivot the way that I have it. And it can also hit the beam up here. So it's a little bit difficult to open. There's no sound effect right now. But if we open this up, you have access and you can see into my furnace room, but the door doesn't really open any more than that. So what I would like to do is have this pivot the other way into the furnace room rather than pivoting out into the Nintendo space, have it pivot that way maybe. And that way I could have a third one there and it wouldn't be worrying about like pivoting into it and it doesn't fit. So I think I'm going to probably try and see if I can flip this around, add the sound effect to make it look good all over again, and also finish underneath the stairs a little bit better. So let me know what you think I should do with the space. I think having this as a handheld room, it would be so cool to have the Pokeball table in here as well. I just don't know if the poker table fits here or there or what I should do with everything. And I also was thinking about having a bar on this side. A lot of you were saying like, oh yeah, put like a bar table on this side. That is absolutely still a possibility. So I could put a bar table here instead. And just like, I don't know, a high table kind of facing the CRT TVs and this one right here. And then maybe have the poker table over here. So this is like a, I don't know, more of an adult gaming space, but it's supposed to be handheld. So I don't know. There's tons of possibilities. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just kind of really exciting. And I really love planning this space out. Let me know what you would do with the fridge. Let me know what you would do with this space. Now to explain a little bit more behind the logic of how we did the space, if I haven't explained it already. If we eventually have kids, and we will like to have kids, we would like to have children, the idea here is to actually put a wall along this if we want the kids to have a playroom in the basement. So this way I could close up the triangle, frame it out, put a wall along the barrier right here, and then put a door on it, and then lock up, I could lock up the Nintendo room, and the Nintendo room would be exclusively on this side. That's five, 10 years from now at least. So that is an option and that way I can like actually keep my Nintendo room separate if I need to and then kind of give this space back to kids so that they can play in this space. That's also why I don't really want to change the trim and it would also allow when you come down the stairs access to the cold cellar right there. The beam in this space, I would love to cover this entire beam the same way we covered the beam over here with the Mario decal kind of 3D block effect. But these are kind of permanent. They're stickers, they're stuck on, they're not coming off. So I don't think we destroy the space on this side in any way with the beam. I'm probably just gonna keep it looking pretty good. 
but I might be inclined to install shelving all the way around the space at least. So like on this side of the beam, on that side of the beam, above the door so you can't see the trim anymore so it actually looks like a secret door, and then all along this entire beam probably install some shelving as well. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. I'm also going to get gold paint, match the gold paint so I can fix up this, cover the space coming down the stairs with posters once again because now they're all taken out, and really enjoy this space all over again. So now that the place is looking a lot better, I hope to bring normal videos once again, get back to producing and making normal Nintendo collecting videos now that all my attention's not faced or focused on this project and it'll be really nice to have all of this. So the new addition, yeah, it's over 200 feet. I think it's looking really good. I'm really happy with the way the work went with the contractor or anything I did to add to the space and I'm really excited. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. You're all awesome. Go collect them all. Keep smiling while gaming, everyone.